One of the most common objects to remove from photos are power lines. And it's a pretty easy task using your spot healing brush if the line is highlighted against the sky. It's simple, it goes quick. However, when the lines start crossing other vertical lines such as a building or different textures in the building, spot healing brush has a tendency to warp those lines. And so what you have to do is use the clone stamp tool to straighten them back out. The other thing to watch for are the textures that the object is on. If you remove sections with like textures, uh, you have a better chance of it doing a good job without uh, leaving artifacts. So this is a building in uh, South Memphis and you can see the uh, lines crisscrossing everywhere and we're going to try to get rid of those lines. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer down here. We click that and we'll have a layer. We're going to separate all our retouching on a layer as a non-destructive workflow, which we went over last time. We're going to select our spot healing brush tool. And we're also going to make sure it has a hardness somewhere around 55 to 60%. The reason is, is if it was totally hard or totally soft, it leaves weird artifacts behind. So somewhere kind of in the, in the middle. You might have to play with it a little bit. So let's look at this line first. So this part that is highlighted against the sky, I'm going to get rid of this part first. So if you remember, we can do a straight line without having to try to paint it by clicking once on one end, then holding down the shift key. And I'm going to go to uh, close up here, hold down the shift key, and then click again. And look at that, did a pretty good job. We left a little artifact there, no problem, just hit it again. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this side of it. We're going to click up here. And we're going to get fairly close to the building without overlapping the edge. And shift and click again. Okay, that part and get rid of that part. Okay, we're going to zoom in now for the last part of getting rid of this. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the tough, tough part here against the bricks. So let's get rid of this part that's uh, hanging out, still hanging out in the air. Again, make your brush a little bit bigger than the object you're trying to get rid of. So we're going to hit click and close to the building and shift. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we try to get rid of this last piece. So, um, Click, shift, and click again. Okay, what we're going to see here using our Control Z for PC or Command Z on the Mac, we can see what it did. The edges are pretty good, except here. Look what it did. It warped that straight line that goes along the brick. Now, if you're just going to throw this up on the web and it's low resolution, you probably wouldn't have to fix it. If you're going to print it uh, or it's a more critical use, I would definitely fix it and it only takes a second. So go over here to your clone stamp tool, select it, and what we're going to want to do is pick a section of bricks to reline that up and replace it. I'm going to make my uh, brush a little larger. I'm going to pick a straight section here and then I'm going to hold down Alt on PC or Option on Mac and then click once with my mouse. And you'll see in the little preview, there's that edge of the brick and I can line it up to where it was supposed to be. And there we go. So let's use our control or command Z again and you can see how that warped section of brick is fixed. Zoom out. So let's uh, use our layer, turn our layer on and off. 
and we got rid of that entire line and kept uh, the building looking intact. So what you would do for the rest of these is similar. I'd get rid of this part, I'd get rid of this part, and then I would start getting rid of these in sections. I would get rid of this part here gets the same section, and then these little parts, trying not to cross the uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines when I have to. And you'll get the same results, and you'll have a building without any of these distracting lines in them.